Hello. With Big First Name, you can design your own custom name badge design. In this screencast I'll show you how easy it is. Begin by clicking on the Design tab and then the Manage Custom Designs tab. Next click Add New Custom Design. Give the custom design a name. The custom design has been created. The example tag design area shows you a demonstration of what the finished badge will look like. Each custom design is made of sections that can be stacked vertically and horizontally. To begin with the new custom design looks similar to the big first name basic design. Now many changes can be made to totally customize the design. The edit controls for the design sections are exposed when you click on the example design area. To begin with you'll see the edit controls for a set of sections. You can reorder the sections of a name tag by dragging and dropping the move handle control next to each section. You can add new sections to the set by clicking on the add new tag section link. The new section has been added to the design. To edit the section first click once to activate the set and then again to activate editing of the individual section. The other sections of the design will be grayed out. Each tag section has a height or width relative to the other sections in the set. You can choose a relative size for each section in the range 1 to 10. For this new section I will choose 1. Each tag section can contain some text. The types include, first name which displays the person's first name, full name, which displays the person's full name, detail, which displays the person's detail field, full name and detail, which displays the full name and detail information, event title, the event title is automatically inserted, which is a nice way to use the same custom design for multiple events, custom text, allows you to enter your own custom text, no text, the section will display no text, useful for spacing or for when displaying a background image. For this new section, I will add some custom text. Custom text for this section can now be entered into the custom text field. The text can be horizontally or vertically aligned in the section. The text color can be set to be a random bold color. A random soft color. The repeat of the color of the previous section. Or a custom color. For a custom color choose a color using the pop-up selector or type in the HTML color code for your desired color. And the background color can be set. A background image can be set for the section by uploading from your computer or by downloading from an internet URL. The background image can also be the attendee's avatar. Click on the update section button to update the section on the example design area. The section has now been updated on the design area. Existing sections can be edited or deleted by clicking until the edit section form is shown. For this section let's change the height, custom text, text color, and add a background image. The way the image is fitted to the background of the section is configurable. For this section I will choose crop. Now. Click on the Update Section button to update the section. The section has been updated. I will now move it to the top of the design. Now I'll change the text color of the first name section and reduce its height. And add a new section that contains the event title. and change the current full name and detail section to just full name and also reduce its section height. The design has now been customized. Further sections, colors and images can be easily added. I can now print the event name tags using the new custom design. First I must select the new custom design by clicking the select design tab and then selecting the design name and clicking save. Now when I print the event we can see the new custom layout being used.
The tags can now be printed for the event. Here's a photo of the printed custom layout that was prepared earlier. That's all for this screencast. Goodbye.